Heavy string. Welcome to another episode. In this one, we're gonna work on some storage. I haven't been able to get the van in the backyard for a while because it's been raining for basically two months straight. Uh, but now the ground is pretty much dried out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So today we are going to be working on storage solutions, mainly drawers for our kitchenette. These are the four drawers. One of the things I did when I built my kitchen, I made face frames thinking that that was the way you do cabinetry, which is not a problem. I know a lot of people out there do. One of the things you have to figure out is spacing you know, putting in wood spacers for your drawer slides to be able to sit out nicely. For dealing with those face frames, I ended up getting some connectors that will go to the back of the cabinet and on the face frame to hold our slides in place. So the slides I got are some soft close 18 inch slides. The cabinet I built had 19 inches of depth. So I went an inch shorter and they have a nice soft close mechanism. So when they hit they will keep shut and it has a you know kind of a firm hold on it we know that we're going to make an 18 inch drawer uh, because that's the drawer slides we have um, so i'm just going to go ahead kind of get a rough idea of how i'm going to build this out and possibly just take a second to actually draw out my plans. Um, I really like to do that with all of my projects as you've probably seen if you've gone through uh, most of our build. It makes it a lot easier to go to the saw, make all your cuts without having to keep thinking about it. Uh, so that's one tip that I would definitely suggest uh, maybe thinking about for your build. But so we know it's going to be an 18 inch depth. Uh, one of the things, most slides are a half inch. So especially on face frame cabinets, uh, because you're going to have to have that slide where it's coming out of your face frame, you're going to have to make sure that you measure out um, precisely what your opening is, uh, and then you take off one inch for that. And then for the opening, because we aren't doing a inset drawer front, doing the upper measurement is not as dire for your opening. You can give, you know, quarter inch on each side, an eighth inch on each side. It just depends on how deep you actually want that drawer, like the sides and all that stuff to be. You just wanna make sure that it can fit in this opening without any issues. So these two drawers I made the same. This one is actually seven and a half. Um, these ones were supposed to be five and a half, but obviously they're a little bit off. And then this bottom drawer, we're gonna to have to figure that out as we go. We wanna make sure we are figuring out where um, the floor is going to sit, but just figuring out, I guess at least that top part, which is exactly eight inches. Definitely double check that all your openings are the same. Um, if it's not square, you know, you're definitely gonna to have to make sure that where the rails sit, it will be square and your box is square because otherwise you will have issues with your slides pulling in and out. That has to be a pretty spot on number. I think it's a half inch with like a 16th inch play. Uh, so you gotta make sure that you have your boxes exactly fitting well or else your drawer slides won't work. Yesterday, I finished up drawing up some of my plans, but I wanted to make sure Katie had some input on a couple of sizes of the drawers and she was at work. And today I'm off. So <laughs> I'm gonna help out today and we're gonna hopefully get some of these drawers built. Yeah, as you saw, we just put up our moon shade. It definitely gives us a lot more shade. And now that it's spring, it's really warming <laughs> up. Uh, so having that extra shade is pretty great. If you are interested, we do have a $30 off coupon code. Use Trail Vagabonds at checkout and we will leave that link in the description below. So let's do it. Let's get started. Like I said, last night I made a couple drawings of what everything's going to be. Kind of made a little cut list for all of the sides and we have a piece of half inch 
uh, Baltic Birch. Basically, we're going to do our best to save as much of it as we can so that we're not making scrap pieces. Uh, so we'll kind of place out everything on this, and then I have a full 60 by 60 inch piece uh, in the shed that we'll pull out and hopefully get all these boxes, uh, sides and bottoms and everything cut for. Sweet! So we got this one to the bottom width of the cabinets. So these are all going to be the bottom drawers. I'm going to make these all 17 inches for the bottoms of all the drawers. They are 17 inches because we will have a half inch on the front and back, making it the, the full 18 inches deep that we need for our cabinets. Matt needs me to help him all the time. As in like a full-time job. Because he doesn't eat when he's working. <laughs> He'll have coffee, maybe a little breakfast, and then he doesn't eat until I get home later that night. He's like, oh, I only ate blah, 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 which is like two things. So I'm gonna make us a snack. I don't even know what we have in here, but we're probably gonna make uh, veggie wraps. You this. Thank you. Yum. Lunch was delicious. Oh, um, so let's catch you up. I have three for the top drawer for the bottoms all cut. I have one extra one that's a little bit different uh, in size, and that one we are going to go ahead and cut down to fit that toe kick. I still got. Decent amount here. I think this will be one upright already. We got all of the lengthwise boards cut for. One of the things I want to mention is line everything up nicely and then get everything cut off at the same spot. That way you will have a nice square box. Um, so I marked out the 18 inch mark for all of these because that's what we need all the way, um, you know, front to back. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get these cut off here and, uh, then see if we can't finish up all the front and back pieces. There we go. We got all of the pieces cut for, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. Most of the time you make a full box with a front and everything, um, and then add your, uh, front piece afterwards, but because I'm using half inch ply for the bottom, I'm going to forgo putting on this front piece um, so that I don't really have to worry about having excess wood in there. That's one of the things I kind of you know want to get rid of there. Um, and I think because these are very solid pieces for our fronts, um, I had made these months ago <laughs> when we did our upper cabinet uh, doors. So I had already stained these. I still got to do a poly coat on them, but I will get these boxes put together by pocket jigging and then I will do pocket holes in through the side into this front face. The sun's going down. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done tomorrow because I want to be able to uh, sand down all these edges before doing all the pocket holes. Beautiful day for it. Time to get working on these drawers. I just got an email from Cali Bamboo, and this was the original sample that we had. As you can see, it, it matches up pretty dang well with the stain that we have for our drawers and ceiling and everything. We actually got planks in the mail that I had ordered, and they were a lot darker, but I just got the assurance that a lighter lot, two boxes of it, will be coming uh, for us in the mail tomorrow. Pretty excited we'll be able to get to that as one of the next projects. 
One of the things I wasn't planning to do the bottom drawer yet until we got the flooring, but since I had this sample and I do have the underlayment that came with it, I kind of measured it out and decided I would make an eighth of an inch space above the floor uh, so that we can get that drawer out. So I'm hoping that'll be enough. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything pieced together. Just like for the kitchen and all that, I'm gonna put wood glue in with those pocket screws to make everything nice and strong. I do have some different clamps, some larger, clamps like that. Uh, so hopefully everything will be nice and square when we're done. If the drawers are out of square, your dra your drawer slides are not going to work properly. So uh, crossing my fingers, everything is gonna be nice and square and we get this going. Starting with the smaller drawers, the back piece here, I have the two pocket holes that will go into the sides. Uh, and I had none on the bottom because on the bottom board, they will be going into this piece from this side here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set this down. This is that bottom board. All the pocket holes will be on the bottom of the board. So this I will just slide into these clamps, tighten them down, make sure everything is lined up. I'll go ahead and glue this bottom strip, set that in place, drill in the three pocket screws, and then we'll move on to one of the sides. The key is to not use too much glue because it'll come out the side spread it evenly all across. Pop that in place. Screw down on our clamps tightly. Heck yeah! First drawer down. Um, nice and solid. I did a measurement from the corners and it's about 28 inches exactly for both of them. I'm hoping it'll fit nicely. Uh, you know, if any of our measurements were off, we'll be in trouble, but we'll see. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks like a painting. Here we go. Top two, third drawer, and so for this last drawer, it's going to be a little different, obviously. So I made a toe kick. I have these going in to the upright out front and into the one down below. So basically in the drawer, you will see the cover of this into this, which maybe isn't ideal. It would have been nice to have it all the way over the top, but I think it makes the most sense for getting the uh, the screws hidden um, and then they will there will be a nice open drawer spot down below well we had some technical difficulties I originally forgot to cut this board down and that one we are going to go ahead and cut down to fit that toe kick to the measurement I needed it to be. And then because I had this board on here, when I remeasured, I ended up measuring an extra half of an inch and ended up cutting off an extra half of an inch. So a little disappointing there. We lost a half inch worth of uh, drawer space, but it happens. <laughs> um, and I just don't want to have to go ahead and cut a new bottom, but for the sides, I went ahead and with the miter saw, cut them off at the new measurement and just drew out the toe kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my jigsaw and cut out this little square and that will be the toe kick built right into the cabinet. Not great. Um, so I cut the toe kick wrong. <laughs> so I went around and instead of cutting new boards, I'm just gonna leave that toe kick up this way. Um, and then I cut the new one. So now that it's getting dark, I am going to finish this in the morning. Um, today just wasn't my day. So there we go. There's the box. 
toe kick built in. Should have enough space from the floor to be able to pull out nicely. It's a good size. I think all of our pots and pans should hopefully be able to fit in there. Last night, I went ahead and put a coat of primer on all of our drawer boxes. And then this morning, I went ahead and got the first coat of paint on all the visible surfaces. I'm not really worrying about the back of the drawers and under the drawers because uh, they're basically all concealed now. And I'm not worried about them being visible because they'll be inside of a cabinet for the most part. Now, I'm gonna move on to getting a coat of the uh, matte poly that we had for uh, our ceiling and our upper cabinet doors and all that. Uh, to get these all covered, we wanna try to do two to three coats of that um, to make sure that they're all protected nicely. And that's where I'll leave you on this episode. Tune in next week to see how we finish up installing all the hardware for our kitchenette drawers and get them installed into the cabinet. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.